Hi, welcome to Living Food with Larissa. My name is Larissa and today we are not gonna cook in the car, although I'm starting the video in the car. We're gonna go grocery shopping. We're gonna go grocery shopping to a store that it's pretty famous on TikTok. It's called Erewhon Market. They have five or six locations in LA and I think I'm going to the original one in Los Angeles. I think this was the first one. I, probably the first time when I went to Erewhon Market was like eight years ago before TikTok. I like it, but it's expensive. It's not the kind of grocery store that I could just buy all my groceries for the whole week from because they are pricey. What do I like about it? Not the fact that you can see celebrities there or that it's famous on TikTok. I like it that they have certain things that you can only buy there, or at least in my area, I can only find them at Erewhon. They have an amazing black bean tempeh that it's made in San Diego. I can only find it at Erewhon. Um, they make in store buffalo cauliflower. That's the best buffalo cauliflower I have ever eaten. It's amazing. I can only find it at Erewhon. They have a purple lemonade that doesn't have any sugar. It's amazing. It's so good. It's their own brand. And they have they have products from small um from small brands from small businesses. So I like it. And they also bring produce from the farmers around my area. I like that, but I like it I like it more to buy it from the um, from the farmers market. So yeah, once a month or once every two months i like to go there and treat myself to buy a lot of tempeh to get some buffalo cauliflower and some small bits and pieces so i can have for a month or for a week to enjoy them so today i'm gonna take you with me we're gonna go to erwan we're gonna see what's in store what i like to buy and then at the end i'm gonna show you what i bought so let's get started this is the store. It's always very busy here. When you enter the store, they have this nice display of pre-packed, pre-made food. Here they have a cafe where you can get um, lunch. They have some combo plates where you can choose three items. It's very delicious. And also here is the place where you can find the buffalo cauliflower. Look at it. Also here they have a lot of salads and greetings to take to go or when you don't want to make a dinner. This is one of my favorite areas where I can find the lemonade, my purple lemonade. They also have juices, green juices, a lot of selection. The prettiest part of the store is this produce section. Here you can find a lot of fermented food from cabbage, pickles, all kinds of good stuff. This is the vegan corner where you can find vegan cheese, vegan salami. Here's the tempeh. This is my favorite tempeh. They only have one so I'm gonna buy the chickpea one too. This is a fig salami. It's really good and really clean ingredients so it's very good for your holiday table, then miso. They have a, select, a big selection of miso, but they don't have organic miso. The yellow organic one that I'm looking for, so I guess I'm gonna buy a different one. Vegan smoked salmon. Vegan pate. Hmm, mild and spicy. Interesting. Oh, has lots of fat lots of fat so I'm not gonna get it because it has sunflower seed oil cheese feta cheese ooh but it's so expensive $16.99 looks yummy but expensive oh I thought that one was expensive this one is $34.99 it's a cashew has coconut oil mm, I'm not gonna get it it's expensive and has coconut oil they have a big selection of chips and popcorn. Oh, this is the crazy expensive popcorn. Yep, this is expensive, $5.99. It's just corn with 
coconut oil. All kinds of powders here, matcha, turmeric, dragon fruit. Blue butterfly pea flower powder? Hmm, this looks interesting. And some crazy expensive flowers. The vegan, $35. The vegetarian, $55. CBD salt. This looks interesting, but oh, uh, thirty twenty five ninety nine. Okay, I got home. Let's see what I bought. Because I don't drink coffee, and it's getting colder outside. I would like to have some other things to drink besides matcha and teas. So I bought this blue butterfly pea flower powder. I was thinking to maybe mix it with the with the matcha and see if it's gonna. Be blue instead of green I don't know then I bought my favorite lemonade the purple lemonade because I just love the color pur purple and this one actually tastes really good these are the ingredients some of them I have never eaten before they are just in this uh, in this lemonade but it's really good and I love that it comes in this glass bottle um, after I drink it, next time when I go to Erewhon, I can take it back and they give me a dollar fifty. Next, I bought a hummus. I like this hummus because it doesn't have a lot of fat. Let's see where are the ingredients here on the back. Doesn't have a lot of fat. It has some olive oil, but it's the last ingredient, which is always a good sign. So yeah, I I like it. They had at some point one that had no, no olive oil, but it's not available anymore. Then I bought this thing for Im immunity. They say to put it in, um, in your smoothies or in your juice. I don't drink much juice, but I will add three to four tablespoons uh, in my smoothie to see how it tastes. I mean, it's getting colder outside, so I'm going to try it. I usually don't take anything for immunity, but I thought, well, let's try it this year. Everyone is getting sick. Then I bought my favorite tempeh. It's not this one with chickpeas. It's this one with black beans and mung. Mung beans and black beans. Uh, they only had one. Otherwise, I would just bought more. But yeah, this one tastes amazing. I don't like the regular tempeh. I mean, I can eat it, but I'm not a big fan. But this one is amazing. And I got this one. I don't like this one that much because it has sunflower seeds, so it has way more fat, but still better than the regular tempeh when it comes to taste, in my opinion. This one has seven grams of fat, while this one has, where is the fat? Five grams of fat. So it's not a huge difference, but I also like this one, it tastes, it tastes better. Then I got my favorite cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower. It's just great. I mean, it's a little bit oily. I'm not a big fan of that, but the taste out of all of the buffalo cauliflower I have ever tried, this one, it's the best one. And I'm gonna keep half of it in the refrigerator and half of it I'm gonna put it in the freezer for like in a week or two as a small treat because I'm the only one eating it in my family. Then, last night I forgot to buy from Whole Foods white miso, and I wanted to buy from Erewhon, but they didn't have any organic one. And then I was like, well, let me try this one. It sounds really good, and it's not white, I know, but they didn't have the regular one organic. So I'm gonna try it and see how it is. I'm a big fan of miso, I use it in salad dressings, I use it on vegetables, I use it on everything. And then I got my husband some probiotics. This whole thing cost me $145.60, but the probiotics were the most expensive one, $43. So 
yeah this is it i'm not gonna go to wear one for another i don't know a month or two if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next week bye